there was a few little girls that ran up and they were ooing and eyeing and pointing out all the bows. Two Oceanside teenage girls, 17-year-old Gabrielle Spicer and 14-year-old Olivia Davis, spend a few hours each week sitting around the kitchen table crafting. But the girls aren't wrapping these ribbons and gluing them to headbands and barrettes and stretching colorful taut elastics to make things for themselves. I started healing headwear as a way to give back to girls and boys in the hospital. I started out as a way to give back to girls, um, especially those who have lost their hair to chemotherapy treatments and other medical conditions where um, there might be hair thinning. Um, I thought head, headbands might be a way to kind of keep your femininity while you, you kind of lose a bit of it. Both of the girls know firsthand what it's like to be in hospital. Yeah, when I was 13, um, I started having seizures and it was kind of out of the blue. We really didn't know what was going on. And um, I ended up getting transferred to Vancouver and I had some pretty lengthy hospital stays um, as well as going back and forth for treatment. And I was there for about four days every other week. So. And what it's like to lose your hair. Since December 19th, 2013, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia and it's been like a big challenge and hardest experience of my life, but I, I'm still here, so that's all that matters. The girls used their own money to fund the project and have been selling their goods to raise money for Ronald McDonald House, where they have both spent a lot of their time. Like the most I'd be at home was for nine days and then I'd be back there staying at Ronald McDonald House. And yeah, and I still go there now every other month when I go there for treatment. It's been my home away from home. Uh, whenever, whenever I'm not home, you know, I'm there. So, and I met a lot of people there. So, I made a new family and lots of new friends. I stayed at Ronald McDonald House well before I even started any of this. And um, seeing some of the kids there, it was, it was kind of like, oh, <laughs> you know, poor kids. I always kind of thought I was lucky because in my eyes it's like, oh, I just had seizures, at least I don't have cancer, and, and seeing um, the kids that go through that. I went with Liv and we went to the oncology clinic. There was no words. It was kind of like, oh, that's why we do this. And for every bow or headband or bracelet they sell, they make one to give to a child in hospital. My expectations were just make like 10, <laughs> 15, and um, be able to go and just give them out to the few kids that were actually at clinic that day and that would be it. Kind of turned into a little bit more. The girls will be making a very large delivery of over 300 pieces along with about $1,800 when Olivia next goes to Vancouver for her treatment in January. I didn't think we'd raise that much money yeah, to be so honest but um, no I knew that there would definitely be support. It's just such a great cause and when you tell people especially when you're able to kind of share your story and not just yours but other kids as well. Um, it's kind of really eye-opening. It's worth our time and our money to give back to these people and to make kids smile and so they can feel good while they're in the hospital as well. To support Gabrielle and Olivia and buy one of their creations, the girls can be reached by email at healingheadwear at gmail.com or hockeygirl16 at live.ca. In Parksville, I'm Annette Lucas.